friends i welcome all the students parents and their guardians who are logged in today uh, welcome to the orientation program for the mba batch of 1921 uh, 2021 23 uh, it's nice to see you all here and uh, welcome to the college uh, we are happy that you all have joined us and we are happy to be interacting with you today and those parents who are here with us today uh, we are indeed very happy to be interacting with you today on behalf of director dr b r venkatesh and all the faculty members i welcome everyone uh, and we will be starting the session today uh, with a short video of our institution uh, to familiarize yourself with what we do who we are and how we do that so i'll share a small video with you uh, you all i'm sure would like it it's a short video of less than 4 minutes and thereafter uh, we will commence the proceedings with the opening address by our director so can everybody see the screen it's so
there's some uh, technical error just a minute i'll uh, reshare the screen uh, please wait This was our uh, uh, video of our institution. I would now uh, share my presentation for the day and hand over to Dr. B.R. Venkatesh, our director. Uh, before I hand over, let me share a word with you uh, about him. Uh, Dr. B.R. Venkatesh 
has a vast corporate experience of over 21 years in capital goods industry, cables, hydraulics, IT services. He has served in HMT, Bartley Boy, Yukon Hydraulics, Quinolux Cables, MIL, and SAP. He holds a B Mechanical from uh, RV College of Engineering. He was a university gold medalist of his batch. He's done his MBA from JNTU and MPhil from Anamala University. His PhD is from Bhatia University uh, with high degree of commendation. Uh, his academic experience of over 18 years in institutions like KLE, Global Academy of Technology, and Alliance University, and is currently serving with us as the director and professor. He has been a panel member on many prestigious industry events and continues to be invited as a resource person for soft skills training and corp at corporates for communication skills and group discussion labs. He's an ardent yoga practitioner. He has delivered a number of training sessions and webinars in this field. His areas of interest are operations management, general management, and yoga. Uh, welcome, uh, Venkatesh, sir. I will now hand over to you uh, uh, to, uh, for, for the opening address to our students and parents. Over to you, sir. Very good morning and uh, warm welcome to all of you. I am sure that uh, all the students would be pretty excited and they are pretty anxious uh, in order to know more about our institution. <clears throat> As I understand, uh, uh, quite a good number of students are also accompanied with uh, their parents and guardians. So that being the case, uh, I may slightly intermix Kannada language along with uh, English. Uh, please bear with me. Okay, to begin with, when I am saying a warm welcome to you all, my dear friends, uh, I am presenting you the slide where the word future is held between two hands. Let me tell you, uh, normally with the philosophical approach, people do say that uh, Lord Brahma or somebody else is going to write our destiny in future. Here we would like to inform you that those two hands are yours. Your future is held definitely securely between two of your own hands. Uh, to get into a few more details, once again, welcoming you, welcoming all of you. And Yella Tande Taigalke Mate Poshakurike, Nana Namaskar Gulana, Abinandanagalan Telusna, Mundavarstane. Please go through the slides now. To begin with, uh, my dear friends, I would like to inform you that when you consider our huge population of India, which is 135 crores, please be aware that only 4.5% of our total Indian population are fortunate enough to have crossed the graduation limit. And for your uh, surprising observation, 32.6% of the entire population is not even educated up to the primary school level. And this is a data which is from 2015 and there is no great improvement but for plus minus 1% on this particular data. Why I am highlighting you this is, when you look at 135 crores of Indian population and if you look at 5% of that, dear friends, it is only about less than a crore, somewhere close to 70 lakh population of our India are fortunate enough to cross the graduation limits. I want you to feel proud. I want you to feel thankful and grateful to your parents because you are one such very lucky and very fortunate graduate who has been blessed by your parents and has been well supported by the Almighty to get into this one in 65. Dear friends, you belong to a very unique class. That's why I call you are unique and you are special just not to your parents to yourself and to our great country, India. Keeping this in mind, now let us go through further. Dear friends, sir, please be aware that life is only full of choices. To begin with, I am showing you a few nice pictures. Of the gold war boulder and on the other side, a fantastic uh, gold ornament which would be loved by any lady on this earth. And on one side you are seeing stone boulders and on the other side you are seeing 
have agreed to Sardar Vallabhai Patil's statue, which is nothing but Statue of Unity, which is available in Gujarat. What do you mean by this? You two had a choice immediately after your BCom or BBA, either to keep quiet or to pursue your higher education or to try for some entrepreneurship or to try for a job. You have taken a wise choice of getting into your post-graduation course that is MBA and that's your choice. Now let me highlight here One sec, uh, there looks to be non-movement of the slides. Please hold on. It's coming. No. 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 Then come to call tab. Call tab. Call tab. There is no option here. Now, without exiting from this, can you go to Google Meet? Without exiting, we will do that. Open the presentation, make it as a presenter, then share it. Mute it, mute it, sir. First, mute it. Uh, screen. Select. Select and mute it. Because you can mute it. You can mute it. You can mute it. Nicholas, are there? Is it full now? Next. Can you see? Put it there. Next, right. next screen, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Uh, there was a small technical glitch. I think uh, now all of you can see a beautiful white screen which shows a big block of gold ore on left side and an excellent uh, gold ornament which would be loved by any girl or a woman and on the left side you see stone boulders and on the right side you see a fantastic uh, statue of unity of a statue of unity which is there in our uh, Gujarat state what are we trying to communicate here it is always nice to see on the right side whether it is a necklace or the statue but they are basically formed out of these raw materials that specifically means to see there is a lot of process involved between the left hand side and the right hand side. A gold ore block is going to face a very high temperature of more than 800 degrees centigrade. It is subjected to a lot of pressure, temperature, heat, a lot of beads from by the goldsmith, whether it is uh, machine wise or human applied. And after getting beaten so many times, probably thousands of times, and being applied to pressure and temperature, it is this particular shape. So are we. What am I trying to say? In order to become an excellent orator, you are supposed to cultivate that particular skill. In order to become a great batsman like Virat Kohli, he would have undergone lots of stresses, both physical, mental, and all these kinds of things. What we want to say is, today probably all of you are, and including me, we are probably somewhere in a stage which is in between the left-hand side and the right-hand side. We are under process. I would like to tell you here that at the Anand Sagar institutions, especially in the department of MBA BU, we are here as a processor, providing you the process to get to transformed onto this beautiful necklace or this excellent statue. Now let's go forward. I hope you are getting the meaning of what I'm trying to communicate. Now, friends, it is slightly humorous in nature. On the left side, uh, you can see a young man with a goggle on, mouth wide open, snoring. And the right side, you can see a guy who is trying to build his body and he is taking push-ups. On the left side, you find a depressed guy with the hands on the head. And the right side, 
a lively guy who is facing the sunrise and doing meditation to which side we would like to belong left side or right side i am not trying to mean that left is bad and right is wrong but choice is yours life always offers you choices and now you have taken the right decision left side to move right and to the good side so that being the case dear friends we want we in the sense here complete uh, my faculty team and myself teaching and non teaching staff all of us at dsi we would like you to move on to the right side and develop yourself into holistic personalities this again something very nice we feel very happy to see some boiled roasted oil fried burgers and what not excuse me sir on one second excuse me sir yes what happened so can we respond to your questions is it okay uh, i will i will give you a, i will give you a good time at the end okay, okay. you can uh, okay. you can have a free discussion at the end or right okay, now sir. i would like you to listen and then speak okay, okay but it is sir. nice that you are interested in speaking to me because we are asking the for end. the options now sir which side which side so i thought uh, one second, one second. all options at the end i appreciate okay. your eagerness okay please hold on Thank right. you, sir. Thank and you. And right side, uh, you have got uh, nicely arranged nuts, fruits, vegetables, what not? Fantastic things. And on the left side, you have got uh, a boys' room or a students' room, which is in absolute disorder. And on the right side, you have got fantastically ordered study room. Now, we are moving to the time management. Whether it is uh, Shri Narendra Modi ji, our honourable Prime Minister of India. or you will for myself or my colleagues here colonel prasanna or dr kadambini or whom so ever all of us have got only 24 hours of time and this time if you really observe it can be split into four quadrants urgent and not urgent on the x scale important and not important on the y scale now coming to this i also put few examples please have a look at it right bottom corner addiction to smartphones whatsapps chats cinemas most of the video games most of tv shows most of social media chumma time pass yen martidiyo chumma time pass martidi all these things comes in the last right bottom quadrant you please look on the top of that there is something called focus area newspaper reading writing journals papers articles jogging cycling yoga gym brisk walking academic preparation a good lot of studies cultivating fantastic habits good habits and good hobbies this is the focus area now come to the left bottom under avoid answering many mails most of phone notifications meeting others expectations please remember not one song attending priorities of others frequent interruptions whatever be the interruption we try to attend to that particular this is under left bottom and please see the left to top managing areas urgent and important attending examinations and interviews which are time bound we have to attend urgent it is extremely important for our career and life okay for our career and life and we are going to manage reporting for bosses a lady is trying to give birth you cannot say please hold on for one more hour giving birth is very urgent and it is very important too vehicle breakdown you are moving from bellary to bangalore on highway vehicle breaks down you will have to take care of bringing back to the normal say urgent and important illness grandma or mother is ill i have to take her to the hospital attending patients crisis management pressing solutions pressing problems all these things are under manage now please try to correct excuse me sir yes The slides are not visible. Slides are not visible. Yes, sir. No, sir. It's visible, sir. We have to pin for that slide. That's it. Uh, dear friends, you will have to check your respective internet connectivity, and you will have to pin it. Here we are sitting in a group where uh, twelve other laptops or mobile phones are under operation. Everybody can see. Probably you will have to pin it 
or you will have to check your respective internet connectivity okay i'll do it yeah please okay. okay now please observe if i were to focus or if a student were to focus on regular academic preparation regular studies developing good body he can avoid sickness if he has been into good habit of regular jogging pranayam yoga sun namaskar what not any such similar things probably you won't have fallen ill there is no need of managing crisis every day i am good in newspaper reading updating my english news i have been watching good tv shows my english communication skills are good so i am not really bothered about the fear of attending group discussions i can definitely manage well if you have focused well you are able to manage well and the right bottom point limit to the least very unfortunately one math health ni bejar makko bidi probably you are all of my children's age maximum amount of time is spent on the right bottom corner which actually calls for least amount of time we are supposed to limit to the least smartphones whatsapps social media and all these things we will have to be focused and now all of you are in the age group of 20 or 21 you are definitely mature and all of you are uh, permitted even to express your votes so that being the case i need not elaborate further i am very sure that you are in the direction of focusing and then managing well now let me move to the next dear friends many times as individuals we think in an individual brain concept wise there is no idea clarity wise full of question marks way ahead a big blank absolutely no clarity solo absolute thorough confusion going mad and on the right side you will find it's a group discussion or a board meeting team work conceptual aspect wise very clear and absolutely no doubts clarity process perfect and absolutely clear way ahead well laid out plan milestones are already preliminary set target visualized team work fantastic fully confident and it says i will do it and this is the absolute confidence we will have to move on to the right side to the team work and the world's world calls for that it is just not the corporate world even our own individual domestic world too okay at the dsi what is that we provide excellent faculty if i am not wrong go probably 80 to 90% of you people have already met me during initial counseling before admissions into our dsi we have got an excellent faculty and that particular introduction and the details are going to be laid out by our colonel prasanna in the next few minutes we have got an excellent fantastic library with a digital library too and hand holding mentoring counseling by senior faculty excellent it network and 24 by 7 wifi network group discussions handling <coughs> best sports facilities all these things are there probably we showed you in our tv uh, video clipping that you dream and we try to help you to achieve that <coughs> dear friends once you enter in you are going to formulate lot of students clubs students organizations already we have a very strong alumni network which caters to helping our existing students and the future students for project work internships and also for placements and definitely developing a good network in the world which is of most important value gym facility sports facilities and of course uh, ethnic days cultural programs and lot of joy and fun celebrations which you can see on the screen now let me move to the next i just repeat there are two things in life god has given us wisdom and brains to choose what our consciousness and what our heart says go ahead with even with our efforts we can either meet with failure or with success failure leads to depression and repenting on the left side you can see the unfortunate student holding his hands covering the face and the right side a very happy go lucky family life is all about choices my dear friends i dr venkatesh bia as professor and director of this particular department i welcome you all again 
you have already made a good choice and you're all good i want you to become excellent holistic personalities taking the right choices making the right choices and becoming the right candidates my dear friends i know i have spilled uh, enough uh, elements in your heads in order to seek lots of clarifications and doubts we are going to attend to all your doubts at the end of the session there is a separate open house discussion for that thank you very much and <clears throat> over to colonel prasanna for the next slides please so wish you happy you now before handing over my uh, slides to colonel prasanna it is my duty to introduce uh, professor colonel prasanna kumar as the name itself suggests we are proud to have him here he is colonel who has served for more than uh, 22 years in indian army he has got a total of 31 years of experience and about 9 years in industry and academia he is an experienced in combat and logistics officer he handles special subjects like uh, strategic decision making he now wears multiple hats on a single small brilliant head as an entrepreneur a trainer a coach a professor and a motivational speaker he is an alumnus of our esteemed union institute of management bangalore and national defense academy pune he is a director in three companies he is a founder and partner in one and a proprietor of another company all in different domains he is an all rounder uh, with whom as a student you got lot to pick up and lot to learn besides mba academically he holds two pg diplomas and teaches as i said strategic management entrepreneurship development business ethics leadership and corporate communication besides being a visiting faculty at leading b schools in bangalore and around he has also worked as adjunct professor at alliance university during which time he was my ex colleague at alliance university and currently he is a faculty at our mba bu department from the past 5 years at our dan and sogar institutions definitely you would love to associate with all our faculty and especially our colonel prasanna kumar to whom i am handing over the slides to proceed further thank you very much and be focused you are going to have great fun and great life at our mba bu dsi thank you and over to colonel prasanna thank you sir for your kind words uh, i think you have given a lot of inputs to our students and uh, thank you for uh, introducing me to the students uh, i now take this opportunity to introduce the faculty members to all our students who are attending and their parents and guardians who are there uh, today logged in today so uh, the senior most person uh, besides the director is dr kadamni katke uh, she is a senior member of the team uh with the industry experience of uh, one uh, one and a half years in media and communication industry as a copywriter research experience of 7 years in service marketing and advertising teaching experience of over 25 years in dsi uh and other cities as well and her areas of specialization are marketing economics operations research and taxation uh her research interests include marketing technology management <coughs> healthcare and agriculture in fact for us she is a she is an authority on the agriculture marketing many of you will enjoy uh, industrial trips with her in and around bangalore uh, on uh, agricultural marketing related visits she has made 20 research publications and presented papers in 30 conferences she is also a vtu research supervisor for phd scholars and she owns copyright for some of her literary work so that is kadamni katke ma'am for you uh, if i have to describe her in one word uh she is strict so be prepared for that next on my list is uh, dr c b venkata krishna prasad uh he is again a professor a faculty member uh, in the marketing area he has 17 years of combined experience in corporate academia and research he is also acting as marketing consultant for a few startups he contributed more than 25 research papers in several renowned national and international journals and books he has presented papers in various national and international conferences and forums his objective is to develop a highly competitive and result oriented marketing researcher and teacher scholarly work spans varied areas of marketing communications entrepreneurship supply chain management medical tourism and religious tourism 
His ongoing research is focused on sports tourism now. So if one word was to describe him, he is one hell of a marketer. He once tried to sell me, I'm, I'm getting bald now, and he, 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 he tried to sell me a comb as well. Uh, all right. Next is our, uh, the youngest old member, or rather I should say oldest young member of our team, Professor B.R. Vyaran Murthy. Uh, he is a fellow of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. He has rich experience in banking sector for 25 years in many areas, including industrial finance, investment banking, merchant banking. He has served as financial controller in Banjara Group of Hotels. He's also a practicing chartered accountant and a consultant for many corporate entities. He's been serving as a finance faculty uh, for more than 12 years now. Uh, he has published several research papers in many national and international journals. His objective is to mold the students to match the ever-changing and vibrant finance industry. He teaches finance and quantitative subjects besides general management. If one word was to describe him, uh, ever young at heart. That is Professor Murthy for you. Next is uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar. Uh, he is our man from Tamil Nadu, the, as I call him. Uh, he's working as the associate professor uh, in our department for many years now. He's done his MA in economics, an MBA, an MPhil in economics from Madras University. He has a PhD in business administration from Anna University, Chennai. Dr. Vijay Kumar has published papers in reputed Scopus journals, including paper presentations in prestigious national and international conferences. He's actively engaged in teaching and research in training and development, uh, employer relations and performance appraisal. He teaches subjects in areas of HR and economics. If there was one word to describe him, adorable that he is. Uh, then we have another senior member of ours, Professor <laughs> K.S. Gopal. Uh, he has 39 years of professional and academic experience spanning banking industry and financial markets. He specializes in areas of regulatory compliances, international finance, risk management and derivatives, corporate valuation, strategic financial management, investment analysis and management uh, and banking and insurance. Uh, after his retirement as a vice president of ING Vesha Bank, he has been a visiting faculty and leading these schools in Bangalore for 11 years and now a permanent faculty in our department for more than five years now. He teaches managerial economics, strategic management and corporate governance, international business and entrepreneurship as well. Uh, Professor K.S. Gopal uh, can be, you know, we personify him as somebody who is deeply into numbers. So he's a numbers man for our department. <laughs> Next is Dr. Amar Shikanta Murthy. Uh, you can see the number of degrees and qualifications uh, Actually, it would run into the whole slide, but I have cut it down and he's annoyed with me today. So Dr. Shikanta Murthy MR has over 27 years of experience in training and development, project management, and a human resource head of, uh, at, at Wipro. Uh, with a passion for technology and processing, driving continuous improvements through business analysis and people development. A resourceful leader with excellent skills in training, mentoring, and motivating professionals and students. He has worked as Vice President TND at uh, Wipro, uh, as an HR head in Indus Corporation, as manager projects and senior HR head at MFAR Construction. Uh, he's in academia for more than three years now. In fact, fourth year finishing now. He teaches HR, marketing, innovation, management, cyberspace, and other technology-related subjects. If there was one word to describe him, always helpful to all of us. Then comes uh, one of our new members, Dr. Sumera. Uh, Sumera holds an MCOM and an MBA in finance and marketing. She's a university gold medalist and her MBA and of her MBA batch and a merit scholarship holder. A UGC net qualified professor. She has over 12 years of teaching experience in various management areas. She's a winner of best research paper award at SPMVV Tirupati. Her teaching and research aspirations include investment management and banking management. Her other pursuits include writing English verses, cooking, baking, and love for nature. Then comes another new member of our team, uh, Dr. Chetan Shetty. Uh, he's a management professional in the area of finance and has over a decade's experience in corporate and academia. He's a teacher, trader, investor, and trainer. So he has chosen many words and not given me room for choosing one word for him. And he has got some good deep knowledge on stock market fundamentals, technical and IPO analysis as well. His areas of interest include financial accounting, cost accounting, 
financial management, taxation, derivatives, and investment management. He has presented and published papers in various national and international conferences and journals as well. Then comes Professor Ami Rasra Ahmed. Uh, she's a research scholar. She is pursuing her PhD from Jain University currently. Uh, she has a master's degree in HR and IT and is currently working as an assistant professor. Uh, with over 14 years of academic experience, she has authored over 18 original research papers in national and international journals. She is interested in academics and research. She has won over 10 best paper award at national and international conferences and also a best case writing award at a national level. She strongly believes that business schools should focus on uh, inculcating a research culture among uh, management students. She teaches subjects in areas of HR, OB, and general management. Decency personified is what we call her. Professor Harshit Babu uh, is currently working as assistant professor in MBA BU department. He holds a master's degree in uh, MBA in SRM, from SRM University, Chennai, and MPhil from uh, PR IST University, Tanjibu. Uh, he has a bachelor's in computer engineering from Madurai Kamraj University. His research papers are accepted in reputed international journals for publication and has presented papers in several international conferences. He has won the best paper award at international conference held in Dubai in 2016. He's actively engaged in research and his area of expertise and consumer behavior, uh, retail marketing and services marketing. He is doing his, and SPSS, he's an expert in SPSS as well. Uh, he is currently pursuing his PhD in consumer behavior. He teaches subjects in areas of marketing, project management, operations research, and technology management. And he is our man to go for placements. Uh, he'll be talking to you on placements as well uh, after a while. Then we have another new member of our team, uh, Professor Shashi uh, uh, Kumar CR. Uh, he has over 12 years of teaching experience in various reputed institutions like Acharya, Don Bosco, and others. Uh, he specialized in area of finance and has published articles in various journals. He's pursuing his PhD uh, under BTU on agricultural derivative markets. Uh, he is passionate about training and students, uh, training the students on fundamentals of stock market, derivatives market, mutual funds, and other forms of investments. His preferred subjects are statistics, operations research, investment management, international financial management, derivatives, tax management, and other finance subjects. Professor Vaibhav Patil, uh, he is a management professional with over 12 years experience in academia as well as in corporate. He's an active social worker, runs an NGO, is a spiritual seeker, an avid traveler, and is presently pursuing his PhD in HRM area. He has presented a published and published papers in various national and international conferences and journals. His areas of interest include general management, emotional intelligence, or organizational behavior, and HRM in general. Professor Teja Suni, uh, she has over eight years of experience in teaching. A razor of areas of interest are HR, marketing, and general management subjects. She believes teaching is not just sharing of knowledge of concepts. Uh, it is a continuous learning process for the faculty too. She aims to scale academic heights through knowledge acquisition and through research. Being the most talkative and fun-loving person in the department, she breathes life into any session that she conducts. She teaches subjects like marketing, business communication, HRM, and technology-related subjects. Uh, then comes our youngest member of the team, Professor Naina. Uh, she has over six years of academic experience. She has completed her Bachelor of Commerce from Bangalore University and her MBA from DSI here itself, our department. Uh, she has worked as an assistant professor here with more than three years. <coughs> she teaches accounting for managers, innovation management, financial management, communication skills, IHRM, recruitment, and selection orientation oriented subjects. So this is a brief on our faculty profile. Uh, I would now uh, like to hand over to uh, Dr. Kadamni Katke, uh, who is our senior most professor and in charge of our faculty profile. Uh, Dr. Katke, can you please uh, I would hand over to Kadamni Katke, ma'am, who will take you through uh, our academic curriculum and some of the uh, general conduct and discipline-related discipline, uh, discipline related, uh, matters that she would like to talk to you about. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, 
सर आप म्यूट कर दीजिए ए हाई गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू I welcome you all. I welcome you all to MBA BU. I'm sorry for slight disturbance. This is basically a technological glitches that we are facing today. So let me just take you towards the overview of academics that you are going to, you know, undergo or the process that you are going to undergo in these two years. So first, let me just tell you, this is MBA Bangalore University setup, and the Bangalore University basically a South, you know, Bangalore University, and the course is. for two years and we offer major three specialization one is finance marketing and human resource there are other specializations also we offer based on the demand from the student side if for the other specialization more than 25 students number of students are expecting or asking for one more specialization we also offer that specialization based on university you know norms so this is what is about a brief about bangalore university you know course now let me just speak about how the course is divided basically the entire course is divided into four categories one is compulsory courses second is the core papers third one is open elective and the fourth one is specialization papers so basically compulsory papers that are going to be dealt in the first to two semesters that is your first semester as well as second semester wherein seven each papers you will be studying and all these seven papers are compulsory as part of your mba course then you have the core papers that is third semester wherein two papers at third semester and one paper at fourth semester you will study on general management aspects so which is helpful for you for taking a strategic decisions it is not ba basically related to any special sub, uh, specialization areas then comes open elective these are the papers which normally university offers in order to enhance the different skills okay this is what is the open elective and you have two credits open elective papers that you are going to study at third semester you know uh, level then comes the major part of your uh, this thing mba program which determines your path of career or profession so basically the specialization that we offer at third and fourth semester you study normally dual specialization or core specialization dual specialization is one wherein you can take combination of any two specialization or you can even go for the single specialization in specific you know area it can be a finance marketing human resource banking and insurance so normally these are the four specialization we offer in the department so this is what is all about the different papers that you study now let me just highlight on few of the examination you know uh, aspects so each paper carries 100 marks of which 
30 are internal assessment and remaining 70 marks are you know written in your city examination these 30 marks these 30 marks are further divided into different clusters so the for first and second semester there are total five clusters one is assignment which carries five marks presentation which carries five marks attendance carries five marks written test carries 10 marks which is again two written tests you have in the first two semesters and book review carries another five marks this is what is the university clustering of internal assessment for first and second semester then comes the third and fourth semester which normally focuses largely on the project case studies and you know the internal test basically we conduct one in only one internal test and one case study case study is basically trying to improve your analytical you know skills with respect to any specific you know case or relevant case this is what is the case study that you have going to take and definitely the attendance is mandatory and attendance carries five marks in the third and fourth semester also along with that you also have to go through the mini project apart from the major project you also have to give a mini project which consists of 10 marks so this is what is a clustering of your third and fourth semester internal assessment apart from that university also conducts the external examination and which consists of 70 marks so in total you have total 100 marks and remember one thing 30 marks are internal assessment okay apart from that you also have the project work normally in third semester there is a project work with uh, project work which you have to undertake which consists of 50 marks and here you have to take one month internship or any dissertation title on which you have to work in depth and you have to come up with the hard copy of project report and you have to submit under the guidance of the faculty members who are going to be your respective guides based on your specialization then comes then comes the four semester major project which consists of six weeks full-time internship or six time uh, six weeks dissertation work which is carrying 250 marks in this particular thing, this is the major area wherein you can focus your career goals and you can take up because this is the only one aspect which distinguish you from others or other MBA programs. So this is what regarding the MBA project work. Now, after the academic aspects, let me just, you know, speak about little bit of, you know, department etiquettes for which you all are abide by and not only you even we are abide by these norms so remember as prasanna kumara sir said okay we all are strict it is not only me it is we all are very strict when it comes to academic delivery and discipline in the department let me just speak a few lines before we go to the other aspects are offered by the department as a whole let me speak about the dress code. You all are expected to dress up in a formal dress code, both for girls as well as boys. You just cannot come in weekend dressing or, you know, however you want to the college. In campus and in corridors, we cannot, you know, allow you unless you are properly dressed. Now, you may be having the doubt that what is formal dress code. Formal dress code is nothing but the t-shirts without caption and preferably the t-shirts should be the collar t-shirts. No ripped jeans are allowed in the campus. No skirts okay, on weekdays and no any other formal dresses. So salwar kurtas, jeans and formal dress code is allowed in the campus and in the corridors. Now this is regarding the dress code and of course Two days a week, there is a dress uniform that you have to come in, which will be given by the college with a prescribed fees. Now, department disciplinary norms. You are expected to follow the department etiquette in terms of respecting faculty, respecting your 
friends and speaking in a low tone and in a dignified language ragging is prohibited in the campus as a whole and any person you know found ragging will be prosecuted according to the norms okay and that is going to be really a you know severe problem or you know will be for your career aspects now zero tolerance for sexual harassment no person should be indulged into any kind of verbal sexual harassment in the campus irrespective of the gender you belong to so you people are expected to follow the sexual harassment norms that are laid down by the institution as a whole so this is regarding the sexual harassment and definitely i hope you people are matured enough to understand the etiquettes of this particular aspect now in the campus there is no gender discrimination allowed all are expected to respect both the genders in equality so this is what is your are you able to hear me sir are you able to hear me right so this is what is all about the disciplinary aspects and the academic aspects in the department thank you for listening me carefully thanks a lot once once again i'll welcome you all to the mba department good morning everyone myself dr chetan chetty associate professor today i am here to give you the brief introduction information related to bridge course what is this bridge course why it is required how we are going to conduct for whom you are going to conduct and what will be the end result of this all those things i am going to explain you people for next 5 to 6 minutes so what is this bridge course bridge course is conducted for new aspirants before the commencement of first and second semester classes it is aimed at bridging the gap between subject studied at undergraduate level and subjects that you are you will be learning in the post graduation program the name only says it's a bridge course so bridge course it's a bridge between the undergraduate level whatever subjects you have studied in undergraduate in your pg or in your ug and the subjects which you are going to study in the post graduate program so bridge course why it is conducted for whom it is conducted it is for first semester and second semester students before commencing the classes before commencing the subjects we are going to conduct this bridge courses why we have we are going to conduct right so from past 2 to 3 years we are conducting this bridge course and it has become very successful for our students to understand the concepts it may be finance hr or marketing concepts so it made them to uh, choose the uh, the specialization also in third semester so why this object uh, why this bridge course is required what are our objectives for conducting this bridge course so we have various different types of students in mba so we have students from bcom uh, then uh, bba bbm engineering uh, then B BS bca bsc okay and engineering background students so these subjects so some management subjects are not comfortable for all the uh, types of students so uh, the engineering students non commerce background students they would have not studied this financial subjects in their ug and they to uh, our bcom students they would have studied this uh, financial management or accounting subjects in their puc as well as in your in their bcom but they would have not opted for statistics business statistics so that's the reason if we start the syllabus if we start the advanced part because whatever the subjects you are going to study in first semester all these are the advanced subjects compared to your ug degree so if we directly if we start that subject then it will be difficult for you to understand so what we will do before that we are going to provide you the basic fundamentals information related to the uh, subjects like accounts and business statistics where we are going to teach you the fundamentals basics of that how to uh, understand the balance sheet it may be profit and loss account the financial statement uh, each and everything first we will give you the basic information and we will make you comfortable of that particular subject then we are going to start this particular subject so objectives like bridge course is designed to help the new aspirants from various diversified undergraduate domains to be unified under the single umbrella for management courses 
this is designed to orient them to the academic environment and also to eliminate the fear factor that might hamper their understanding of various subjects pertaining to the management subject if we ask first semester second semester students so uh, which subjects you are not comfortable or uh, which you, subjects you feel difficult then definitely they will say accounts and statistics so that's the reason to eliminate that fear that you are not able to understand the subject all those things that whatever fear you have that we will eliminate it and we will provide all the basic information related to that this one week bridge course is designed to provide adequate foundation to the aspirants about the core subjects like statistics economics and accountancy the course also aims to improve the students confidence and skills to successfully transition to the post graduation and new curriculum so we'll make sure that so after completion of this bridge course as well as the first semester you will be able to read the real financial statements of the company how this profit and loss account balance sheet cash flow statement it will be how it will be prepared when it will be published when to pay the taxes when to pay when to pay the taxes what is the stock market how this uh, shares uh, will be what is the share capital what is the debenture what is the debenture each and every basics aspects that you definitely you will learn you will be happy at the end of this semester that you have learned so many things in the financial concepts so at the end this course acts as a platform for students to interact with the faculty members and build a good and healthy relationship with them and also with the fellow students so why this course is required first we have to understand the different types of students right we should build a healthy and good relationship between the students and also uh, with the fellow students so with this i'll, ha I'll hardly uh, uh, what uh, all the best for you students okay so uh, take care so we'll meet you in the bridge course okay over to you sir I now hand over to Professor. He will talk to you about various certification courses that we do, and uh, over to Dr. K P. Yes. So uh, good afternoon, everybody. So I'm Dr. Krishna Prasad. I'm going to give you a brief note about uh, the importance of uh, the certificate courses and programs offered. in the college and as well as uh, the other courses i mean other platforms where you can uh, do all these uh, certificate courses which will enhance your uh, job prospects and uh, other thing right so the first point uh, why these certificate courses are very important because all the courses are job oriented or job focused so and they provide a wide range of skills uh, to an individual like you and me right so those who are pursuing management uh, degree like you right so definitely all these courses are job oriented and they are going to enhance your skills and the next one is going to provide uh, a detailed knowledge and skills required to perform the real world job responsibilities understand the word here the real world job responsibilities which include uh, you to uh, function with uh, the real world and then when you do a certificate course you acquire the necessary skills helping to stay competitive which is very very important right so now uh, as <clears throat> dr br venkates sir briefed you in the morning right so there lakhs of uh, post graduates are coming out every year so at the same time right as a student of management right you should be very competitive right so all these certificate courses will give you that edge to be competitive and the next one no doubt is going to give you a solid foundation to uh, to your career thereby helping you to make uh, a quick progress uh, in your jobs and as well as to reach new heights in your career so the the four important points of uh, the certificate courses and then yes second 
and uh, BSc AAC right, as an institute we have got MOUs with uh, various uh, professional bodies. So it's, I mean MOU again right, it's a memorandum of understanding where uh, we have got we we made a tie up with all these uh, bodies to offer uh, circuit courses at a very reasonable uh, fee for the students. Right, the first one is uh, London School of Digital Business, a London-based uh, institute which is offering courses in digital marketing and as well as on digital essentials. The next one, uh, if it comes to finance, right, we have got uh, MOU with uh, Finmark, uh, so trainers from Chennai. So they are specialized in finance and capital market certifications like NISM as well as uh, derivatives, right? So Finmark is going to help us in, uh, I mean, help us uh, to certify students in uh, uh, finance. And then we have, we have got a tie up with NICT Computer Education Bangalore uh, to offer courses in uh, MS Office and as well as advanced MS Excel as well as on SAP. So there are three MOUs which is going to cover a wide range of courses for the management students. And apart from that, the institute has got uh, an online education service called Open Sky. We, as institute, right, have got tie up with Swayam platform. As most of you are aware, Swayam is a platform, is the biggest uh, platform in the world, which is sponsored by the government of India. And we have got a one chapter is NPTEL. I'm going to give you a brief note about these two in another. Uh, two minutes and apart from that we are going to have tie with uh, Coursera as well as also with edX whereas if you look at the difference between these two I mean these two bodies right so whereas 5M and NPTEL offer courses at free of cost and then for the certification you may have to pay the certification fee whereas if it comes to Coursera and edX these two are private bodies they got tied with various universities across the globe they offer courses in uh, all latest uh, job oriented courses. So, thank you for helping uh, Excel, Excel sheet. Uh, just give me a second. So, I'm going to stop sharing uh, the presentation uh, for a time being. And uh, Dr. KP wants to show you an Excel sheet that has some data. Uh, give me a second. The disturbance in voice. Yes. Uh, everybody, please mute yourself. I think that somebody's uh, somebody's unmuted and there's a disturbance from background noise. <clears throat> just opening the Excel sheet. Just give me a second. So can everybody see this Excel sheet? Anyone can confirm, please? Yes. All right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Over to Dr. KP. Yes. So if you look at uh, this Excel sheet, which will give you a very good uh, information about various courses offered by various institutes across India. I'm talking about, I mean, uh, this, this uh, Excel sheet is going to talk about only about management courses offered by IITs as well as IITs of, I mean, uh, the, the prestigious IITs like IIT Madras, IIT oh, Bombay, yeah. IIT Kanpur, and all right, you can see the list of courses. So, yeah. Yes, so if, if you see, right, so there are 100 uh, plus courses which are available, so which are related to management and as well as multidisciplinary. It may be on entrepreneurship, it may be on leadership, it may be on international marketing, it may be on Six Sigma or uh, sales and distribution management. Look at look at the structure. Uh, I mean, look at the courses here. So you, yes, yes, yes. Look at the courses here, right? So you have got starting from uh, uh, financial institutions, market research, behavioral finance, right, and management of inventory systems, right. So what not, right? Name it. You have got all these courses, and apart from that. So finishing the browser. Okay. 
So I'm going to take you to the official website of uh, NPTEL. Just give me a second. Hope you can see the screen now. The NPTEL screen, right? It is it is opening up. Yeah, if you if you look at the tab here, right? So the courses here right so if you look at nptel courses look at the specializations here so you have got aeronautical engineering biotechnology chemical engineering look at management here look at management here right so you have got the first course which is offered by iit karakpur on international marketing and you've got one more uh, program from uh, IIT Karakpur on retail management. Look at business laws and uh, yeah, many, many, right? You've got more than 150 courses only from this NPTEL platform. The content is free, where if you want certificate, you have to pay the certificate fee, which is varying from 500 rupees to 1000 rupees. So you've got courses which are four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, and 16 weeks, which you can learn on your own pace, right? So the short brief note about these certificate courses. And if it comes to, uh, if it comes to, uh, so if it comes to other uh, aspects like, just give me a second, which one you want? Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are going to give you access to all these platforms through DSI and to give you some example right so we have got two students in the third semester right now one is Mr. Uh, so Tanjil and other one is Mr. Akash those have done more than two dozen courses two dozen right so they do it like it may be a four week course it may be a six week course right mm -hmm. so and Mr. Akash has done uh, a course in IBM which has got badges for uh, uh, those courses, right? So this it is called skill built by IBM, right? So he has got two badges, right? So definitely all these things are going to enhance the job prospects as well as they'll be very, very competitive, right? So I want everybody here, right? So maybe all, all first year students to enroll at least two programs in the first year, I mean, in, in, in the first semester. Right, it may be a four week course or a six week course or an eight week course. Right, so I want everybody to enroll into all these courses and get yourself uh, uh, equipped with uh, the latest uh, job oriented uh, courses. So, thank you very much. And I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Uh, Harshit Babu. He's going to talk about uh, training and placement uh, cell. Over to you, Mr. Harshit. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. K.P. sir. Uh, uh, this is Harshit Babu, assistant professor from uh, MBA department, BU. Uh, welcome to all the uh, budding managers once again. So I'm going to give some input regarding training and placement. So some of the aspects from MBA program, you see academics is important and certificate courses, right? Your internships, projects. So apart from that, if you look into the training and placement is going to be a very essential and important aspect for all the MBA students, right? So I'll just brief you about this training and placement information. So DSA has an allied placement division to facil uh, facilitate the placements of for MBA students. Training and placement for MBA students are provided in association with CIL. So that is Center for Innovation and Leadership and HR division, right? So there is a centralized placement cell so where all these students from mba bu vtu 
and DSU. So they are going to uh, say attend all the placement drives. The placement cell also offers internship opportunities to MBA students. So moving on, I'll just speak about this CAL, what exactly it is. So CAL is a centralized placement and training, I mean, training division, which provides pre-placement training or industry preparedness program. So they call it as IPP, right? So there'll be some kind of industry preparedness program for all these students before they attend some kind of interviews and internships, campus placement opportunities to the students of DSEAC. They provide guidance to the students to sort their career paths from the first semester. So from the first semester, there'll be a lot of uh, different levels of training and till they reach the career goal. Okay, so all the students, once they attend all the levels of training, so they, they are given some kind of input or guidance towards the placement. The training programs are customized to every batch of DSEAC students. So here, some of the list of training programs that is given here is there will be a lot of different levels of training, training on resume writing, effective communication skills, how to develop some kind of soft skills, and how to perform in an uh, GD, group discussion, and personal interview, right? So there'll be some kind of mock interviews that will be conducted from the uh, expert side, industry experts, before you attend some kind of interviews from the companies, right? So how to, uh, say, work in some kind of team, developing some interpersonal skills, right? So training on some kind of business etiquette, high impact presentation skills, personal grooming, leadership, and emotional inter intelligence. So these are different levels of trainings that are provided to all the MBA students. So moving on, just focus on some of the placement aspects. So we have been working with many companies for over three decades for student internships and placements. That is the DSA is working and the placement team is working okay with a lot of different companies towards placement and as well as the internship so more than 100 companies visit every year for campus placement right it's not that very limited number it is more than 100 companies visit every year well, previous year around 140 plus companies has visited the dsa campus right so that is a small information for you so we have signed mous with more than 30 companies for helping students with projects, internships, industry visits, and research and placements. The placement cell coordinates with recruiting companies and handles the entire placement process. So here I've just listed some of the company names, right, to name a few. So around 140 plus companies has visited the previous year. So some of the top companies I've just listed here, right? So to name a few like Aditya Birla Finance, Flipkart, ANZ Bank, Intel, ICC Bank and Securities, KPMG Global Services, and some of the other banks like Karnataka Bank, IDFC, and Samsung India. So especially last year, they have come for some kind of R&D role. Okay. So other companies like Infosys, Bosch, and Vodafone, Wells Fargo. So these are some of the top companies that you can try to identify. And obviously, you have to perform, right? So in the campus placement. So in the interviews, there will be a lot of different levels of interviews, like say GD, personal interview, HR interviews, right? So it will be a competitive environment, right? So you have to develop all these skill set competencies and meet the standards of the companies so that you can get placed in all the top companies. And some of the inputs regarding from the package point of view, the highest package for the previous year is 10 lakhs per annum and the average package was around 4.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs. Okay, it's purely depending upon your performance in the interviews, right? The companies will come and you have to register for the drive and you have to attend all the rounds so that you get placed in the respective companies that you are interested, right? So all the best students, once again, I welcome you all for this MBA program. All the uh, best for the uh, budding managers. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Professor Harshit. And uh, uh, students, now uh, we are opening this session, uh, what we call as the open house, and we will take queries from you all. Uh, our director and any of us who is required to answer would like to answer uh, your queries. Uh, you may shoot now. Over to you, Director, sir. <coughs> Uh, 
so my dear students uh, all of you can uh, unmute your slides okay i hope all of you are listening uh, listening to my voice and uh, during my talk itself uh, there were one or two students uh, who were very eager to ask me some questions probably first in first out basis i advise that particular student to ask me his question yeah back to the students yeah please and just maintain discipline and any number of questions all students can ask please go in a disciplined and a mature way yeah i welcome your questions please so all my questions got the answer so i have no questions no more very nice yes. in fact uh, i should thank you before thanking you i should thank all my faculty for having given an excellent uh, future no questions kind of presentation yes I sir it was really excellent we loved it i mean i personally just loved it thank you what's your good name it was uh, my good name is abhishek sir abhishek uh, i think this was very very, very welcoming in, uh, very welcoming sir thank you so much for this nice of you okay uh, next thank student you, next question sir no more questions sir because of everything will be clear sir thank you so much sir very good you are representing yourself there are 90 students still i would like to give opportunity for the balance 88 ಆಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಮಾತು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಯಾರಿಗಾದ್ರೂ ಅನುಮಾನ ಅಥವಾ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾರ್ಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಪೋಷಕರು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯ ಕಳವಳ ಆತಂಕ ಅನುಮಾನ ಆಸ್ಪದ ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಡೌಟ್ಗಳು ಇದ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿ Everything is clear. If I am in the middle of the day, I will tell you that 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 I will tell you that. Yeah, definitely. Please go ahead. Sir, when are the classes are going to be started, sir? This is a nice question. Yeah, just you will have to pay me half a million dollars to answer this question in a lighter tone. Okay, now let me tell you, Karnataka State Government has extended the current uh, COVID norms and we can confuse and all that to till 31st of january so okay. that being the case <clears throat> obviously considering health is the first priority for you okay. me and everyone okay yes sir absolutely till 31st of january the classes will not be there but when i say classes will not be there i am not saying absolutely no classes what i mean to say is offline classes andre classes at the campus we may not be able to conduct because of the covid and omicron conditions and situations but we may start online classes so we are working out certain details so that finally it has to be beneficial to my final stakeholders that are our loving students that's you and also in the same breath let me also tell you you are half of my strength the balance half is through pgcet which you are aware pgcet students are going to get into the college the last date that has been given by karnataka examination authority as of today is 25th of january arthatya so that being the case only after 25th we would be in a position to uh, commence the classes uh, and also we are planning to have a very good inauguration program in which there will be a uh, chief executive officer or a top notch uh, executive from a good corporate house who is going to address you which will be of a very significant value and benefit to you all of you so that being the case so uh, please hold your breath for a while during which time before somebody ask me next question i would like to say that we have already advised our dr krishna prasad to share with you a few of these website addresses like nptels and other certificate programs or courses details so that you can even start now you can even start now so that being the case as far as commencing the classes are concerned it will be definitely after 25th of january only offline classes let us all of us pray that uh, uh, almighty takes back all these omicrons and covids and all these things okay but otherwise online classes are going to definitely start probably earlier than the offline classes okay just hold for a while i am equally anxious like you my dear students yeah next question thank you sir <coughs> thank you 
ಏ ತೊಂಬತ್ತು ಜನ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಗಳು ಕೇಳ್ರಪ್ಪ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಐ ಮೋಡಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ನೇನಾದ್ರು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇವಾಗ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಿ ಸರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಆಡಿಬಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ uh okay first of all i want to introduce myself uh, my name is aditya maheshwari and uh, good afternoon to everyone uh, i was saying like uh, sir till the classes get started so yeah. can we get some uh, online courses so that we can enhance our knowledge that's what i told the certificates in fact dr krishna prasad and myself uh-huh. we are going to send you certain details so that okay. you can come in, you can start your online certificate programs which could be either free or of a very very low or nominal value you can start such online certification programs also we will be sending you the details within three working days okay okay sir yeah thank you so much sir very nice i appreciate your concern and interest yeah next yes. please uh i am sure that there are few girl students also ivattu ella hen makkalu kuda maunu vrutha thaladha kanasthe ide nanage bari hudugara sapla matra kelisthe ide my dear students all of you are welcome to ask me questions uh, good evening uh, all of you uh, myself uh, sarang akwari so uh, my da- uh, sarang sarang akwari sarang yeah please tell me yeah so as you said uh, you will able to access the online uh, this uh, additional courses okay uh, with that uh, uh, can we access the library of the colleges because i think uh, we need a id card or something so before that we we gain the id card or some other thing uh, can we access the library and uh, one second one second of the college i get your point in fact all the students are going to be issued something called university seat numbers which in short format it's called as usn that will be coming from bangalore university and before that we will be definitely giving you if required and wherever required that you are a bona fide student of our college and you have taken admission for mba this particular batch okay we will ensure that you were taking up online free courses or paid courses should not be a problem at all whatever support is required from the college side we are there with you done sir no thank you so much and the girls let me just say special good morning and good afternoon to all the girl students let me hear some girls voices good morning and good afternoon to all the girl students special good afternoon sir oh very nice to hear your voice do you have any question my dear student no sir we don't have any questions very nice what's your name anaga sir anaga i think you had come here right Yes, sir. I am with you, sir. Uh, Anuga is uh, no sin at all. Very nice. Okay, that's good. Yeah, a- anybody yes. else? Uh, any questions from any students? Okay. Uh, I think now is the time for me to give you certain details. All of you, please make a note of the following documents. Uh, especially the Bangalore-based students, you are required to uh, come and submit at our office to uh, one Mr. Sanjeev. Okay. Number one, SLC mask card. Number two, PUC or intermediate mask cards. Number three, all degree mask cards, whether BBA or BCom, BSc, BA, Agriculture, Horticulture, whatever be the UG program, all your degree mask cards. Next, PDC, that is Provisional Degree Certificate. And in few cases, maybe the students might already got University Convocation Certificate, whether PDC or Final Certificate. next definitely you must have appeared for a competitive examination like uh, pgcet or kmat or mat cat any act so score card issued by this examination conducting authorities score card issued by any of these examination conducting authorities next this is required for uh, transfer certificate or migration certificate these two things are required for those students who are from 
universities other than Bangalore University. I repeat my sentence. Transfer certificate and migration certificate are required from such students who are from other than Bangalore University. Please make a note of it. TC and migration. Next, other card Xerox only for the students. Uh, earlier, we were also asking for the parents. Now it is not required. Only students legible, nicely seen, other card. Next, four photographs of passport size. I repeat, all in a jiffy. SLC mask card, PUC mask cards, all degree mask cards, provisional degree certificate or convocation certificate, scorecard issued by competitive examination authority, transfer certificate and migration certificate issued by universities applicable for those students who are coming from non-Bangalore University, other Xerox card, and then passport size photographs, four numbers of each student. Hope all of you have heard this and you have made a note of this. Bangalore based students, you can come down to our office on any of the working days, Monday to Friday, or on Saturday up to one o'clock, you can come and hand over. Others, we will let you know how to submit it. We'll send you the mail. Okay, any doubts in this? No, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Hello. No, sir. Hello. Good afternoon, no. sir. You have a problem. What is that? Yes, sir. I have a doubt. Yeah. Sir, we have to submit our original mask card, right? Definitely original mask cards for the approval process at Bangalore University. Yeah, tell me. And, sir, when is the last date of submission, actually? Now, whatever originals you have got, you please do submit. And we are going to inform you the last date also. And please do not wait till the last date and the last moment. Then we will become Yuddhakali Shastra Abhyasa. Tumba kashta akhtade nimge namge. You have original sirava nilla submit madri. Then we will give you the last date. Yeah, next please. Okay, thank you sir. My doubt is clear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably as the last point I would like Excuse to... Excuse me sir. Okay. Uh, sir, can you say again to whom we should come and submit the original marks cuts? You please come to 6th floor in building number 13. Okay, that's our MBA BU department. We will find our uh, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar. He, he is uh, our non-teaching staff from MBA BU department. Mr. Sanjeev. You can come and ask any faculty. They will help you out. Okay. Sir, building number, sir. Building number 13, 1, 3. Even day two could on three. Num building number two, one three. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Building number thirteen, uh, floor number six, MBA BU department. Uh, by the side of football ground. It is very easy to identify. You can ask anybody business block. Okay. Anything else? Any questions? Hello, sir. Good afternoon. This is Nanjun Desh Jari Hall. Yeah, tell me. Sir, actually, I have applied for migration certificate only, not transfer certificate. Means, actually, uh, I'm from Calcutta University, Kolkata. Okay. You will have to get your migration certificate, okay, from your respective university and submit it. If there is that anything means, else, Yeah. Means, like, I have got only migration certificate. Means, I will be getting uh, this that's week fine, only. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. And what about migration transfer certificate, sir? No, that is not applicable in all cases. Okay, in your case, migration certificate is per perfectly all right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Now I have got something to share with you for two minutes. Hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I'm from Andhra Pradesh, but I completed my UG in Bangalore, sir. Bangalore okay. University. Huh. So, did I need to submit my migration? Hello, my dear friend. Yes, you have completed your undergraduate program from Bangalore University only. So obviously that is not applicable. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now let me share with you our department of MBA BU. We are going to establish one simulation laboratory, which has been uh, developed by IMA, All India Management Association. There is an excellent simulation laboratory, which has been uh, overwhelmingly called as Biz Lab. That is to say, business laboratory. Very soon we are going to establish this. Just to give you a small idea, you are all expected to be either become corporate executives or entrepreneurs. Later, at some particular point of time, maybe after two years or five years or ten years, you are going to be the major decision makers. 
in order to groom towards leadership positions and decision making positions this particular business lab is going to help you just to give you a small example see you are the chief of marketing and another colleague is from finance another person from production another from person from purchase your marketing chief says sir we will have to reduce uh, or give discount of at least to 10% in order to, to sell our products immediately the finance fellow says by giving 10% our revenue inflow will not be sufficient it will be very uncomfortable i will not be able to give and the production department says you give whatever discount you want i cannot cut my cost further minimum i am already running at this minimum cost hr person will say sir we have already uh, turned out or retrenched last year itself 120 executives there is already a pressure on me i cannot return further so this being the case given reduction or discount is your case but what to give you please take addition i am not in a position to support this particular addition and if you are the ceo chief executive officer marketing says give the discount finance fellow says absolutely no discount production fellow says don't ask me to cut cars hr fellow says no more retrenchment as a ceo you are supposed to take a decision and it has to be logical you will have to survive in the business you will have to face the challenges of the customers and all these i am just giving you one of the 10000 combinations available in the biz lab i hope you are getting me and you are going to be given initially demo or demo licenses to go through and then playing as an individual playing in a team playing between teams and across with the different teams and competitions and with there is something called ai bots so to say artificial intelligence bots you are going to play against like chess masters play the chess against uh, the computer very similarly the people can play against the computer which has got to 10000 different combinations you are going to develop your decision making skills and you are going to get into the shoes of production r and d purchase marketing hr finance and what not so that being the case my dear friends you are going to have a very challenging fascinating exciting course of two years during this mba at your mba bu here i welcome you all with a big heart and all my faculty are really excited in welcoming you we are all happy to have you here as i said we will give you further details online by email as well as whatsapp and before concluding let me tell you my dear friends please take care of your health wear masks always follow covid protocols and take care of yourselves your parents your family your friends and everyone uh, thank you very much and i give the podium or i give the stage to my colleague colonel prasanna to continue with the proceedings thank you very much and all the best thank you sir thank, thank, thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you so much yeah uh, just uh, uh, wait for a while students and parents uh, i now uh, hand over to my colleague professor b r n murthy uh, for a vote of thanks on today's proceedings uh, murthy sir over to you thank you prasanna sir dear students dear parents and respected director sir and my colleagues i am professor murthy on behalf of dhanan sagar institutions i extend my sincere thanks to the students and their parents and all our staff members for making this orientation program a great success i congratulate and thank all our students and their parents for opting a right destination for doing your mba that is dhanan sagar institutions when i said right destination i really meant it as you are all aware the course is effectively led by our dynamic and enthusiastic director who always strives to mold the future of our students all the faculty in the department are hand picked you might have seen from the presentation of uh, dr colonel when he was indicating
the profiles of different faculty and they have the excellent academic and professional credentials and they have a cumulative and we have a cumulative corporate experience of more than 150 years and they're always ready all our faculty are ready to share their knowledge and experience with the students for molding their future our college management has also provided an excellent infrastructure for learning you have just heard from my colleagues about the plan of action for the MBA course, maybe in respect of bridge course or experiential learning, value added courses, placement, discipline, and so on. With all these inputs, I'm sure that you will enjoy your learning in Diana Sagar institutions. I once again profusely thank the students, their parents, and guardians for gracing the occasion. I thank our beloved director and all my colleagues for successfully conducting this orientation program. I will conclude this, my vote of thanks with a message for your life. Put in your heart and soul and work hard for just two years that will take care of you for the next 50 years. I'll repeat this once again. Put your heart and soul and work hard for just two years that will take care of you for the next 50 years. Wish you all the best. God bless you. Thanks. One more. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Murti, sir. And uh, thanks, everyone. Thank you, my colleagues. Thank you, director, sir. And thanks, the parents who have joined us. Uh, we would now conclude. And uh, it's been uh, nice interacting with you all. Bye-bye and take care. All the best. You too, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you